Hello lovelies, welcome to the Rediscover Your Stash product focus haul for June 2024 and as you can see from the scrolling title the topic is going to be journaling. So I'm going to take you through some of my layouts and some different ways that I've journaled and some ways you can adopt that. The simplest way is probably just sticking it straight on the background as it is, nothing fancy. The next couple I've used some feature of the pattern paper in the background and used that to shape the journaling. You can rule lines or draw them freehand straight onto the background. You can even write onto background that has had mixed media put on it but I warn you it really trashes your pens. It's not impossible but you've got to keep it in mind, write slow and maybe use a thicker pen. Sometimes it makes sense to separate out the story into different sections, whether it's different details or different conversations, and so I write on different areas of the page. Don't panic if things go a little bit wrong in your writing on the background. Just use some stickers to cover the typo and do the same in a few other different sections and then it looks more purposeful. For longer sections of journaling you can use an element of the page like stitching or a cut file to frame it and utilize what would otherwise be empty space. Another way to incorporate longer sections of journaling is to put uh, a bunch of loose journaling cards in a little pocket like in the top right corner of the page and also I've used journaling cards to create a little fold out booklet like the one in the middle here and you can see what it looks like pulled out. Sometimes I'll use journaling cards to separate different sections of journaling or I'll stack a whole bunch together and just write from one to the next just to add a little bit of interest. You can use elements of the page like a piece of cut file or some bits of paper or even little boxes to separate out smaller bits of journaling or different aspects of the story as well. If you're worried about length you can write or type it out on little strips of paper and then stick them on the page and that way you've got another shot if it goes a bit wrong. Occasionally I incorporate maybe some song lyrics or a quote from a book or a poem to help tell the story like I've done in these three layouts. You can journal around the perimeter of the page or around the outside of a particular element to do something a little bit different but you've got to be fairly sure how long your text is going to be for it to work. You can also tell the story by using different quotes, titles, elements, stickers, things that tell the story without actually spelling it out in your journaling. And it may not be obvious to other people who look at it, but if you know what it means, it makes your page so much more meaningful to you. Journaling is at the heart of every layout that I make. It always is centered around the story. So I hope you've enjoyed this little crash course in journaling that I've put together for you and I'll link some of the layouts that I've featured in the description box but more importantly I'm going to link the list of everybody who is playing in the June journaling hop so please visit their channels and their videos and give everyone some love. Journaling is seriously underrated so thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye!